Mercury, that grey husk of a world that we all know and love, orbiting very close to our sun, and instrumental in showing us that Einstein's general theory of relativity is better than Newtonian physics, as far as gravity goes and probably everything else. Mercury is perhaps a boring world to most, but in this video we're going to talk about some new research which shows some very interesting insights into the geology of Mercury. So let's for a moment look at Mercury as the world it is. All of the data in this video comes from the MESSENGER spacecraft, which visited Mercury in 2011. And everything we're talking about comes from this paper here. From the lead author, Alexis Rodriguez, it talks about the geological history of Mercury in a particular region, a very strange and chaotic region on Mercury's surface. But before we get into this chaotic region, let's talk about what caused, or what people thought caused this region. So there's this area on Mercury called the Caloris Crater, which is about 3.8 billion years old, and is thought to have been caused by the impact of an asteroid 100 kilometers in diameter, and created a crater that's 1,500 kilometers in diameter. The crater rim is a bit hard to see, so I've highlighted it in the red circle here. And this impact would have been a near world-shattering event. It would have launched enormous amounts of debris up into the orbit of Mercury, and it would have caused tremendous earthquakes throughout the entire world. But an interesting patch on Mercury, aside from this crater, is actually on the exact opposite side of the planet. This region here, known as the chaotic terrains. So this region is not that regular. You generally expect surfaces of planets like Mercury to be fairly smooth and well understood, with some craters marking the surface. There are certainly craters here, but there's also all of this rugged variation, these kind of canals and pockmarks all over the surface. And these have traditionally been explained as results of that world-shattering impact. Debris would have been launched up into the orbit of Mercury and perhaps fallen back onto the surface at the antipode, the other side of the impact, creating all of these weird markings on the surface. And perhaps you have earthquakes that will shift the ground and break it apart, creating these streaks. It's a theory which has stood the test of some time, but this group has reanalyzed the data coming from the MESSENGER spacecraft to get a better interpretation of what's going on. So let's look at the surface in a more scientific way. So here is that same area, but as a relief map. So the terrain is highlighted as the higher terrain is red and the lower terrain is blue. So there's a few inserts here, and in insert B and C, there's zoom-ins of the larger image A. And you can see again all of these strange features. And the feature that they note is most interesting is all of these damage areas to the craters. This indicates that whatever happened to create all of this strange chaotic terrain happened after these craters had formed. So they'd looked at how old this area could actually be before geology stopped. And to do that, they used a really cool technique. You find all of the craters that are still intact, and you do some simulations to calculate uh, how old they would be based on asteroid um, impact models. And they find through their modeling that the age of this region is about 1.8 giga years old, or 1.8 billion years old, which is much younger than the actual impact that created the enormous crater on the other side of Mercury. So this suggests that this chaotic terrain isn't strictly made from that impact. So what could be going on? Well, in this little schematic diagram here, we have a kind of idea of what's going on. So in this top part of the image, you have the result from just general evolution. You have a crater formed from an asteroid hitting 
Mercury's surface in this chaotic region, and you have this deep collapse region, which might have been caused by enormous earthquakes tearing apart the planetary crust. But underneath the surface, you might have volatile chemicals, and volatile chemicals take the form of things like sulfur, chlorine, potassium, and water, which we know are on Mercury. And they could exist below the surface of Mercury, and if the surface gets heated up enough, these volatiles might sublime, turn into a gas, and leave the crust, creating some kind of pockets. And these pockets are just voids inside of Mercury, which will then collapse, forming terrain that looks like it's being punctured in places, or have long scars running across it. So after this outgassing process, the lower part of this image shows what they would expect the terrain to look like. And it looks fairly similar to what we see from the messenger images. You have these craters that have big gouges out of them and these big fault lines, which don't necessarily fit uh, what an earthquake would make by itself. So this is perhaps a much better explanation of how these chaotic regions have formed on Mercury. And it's also a very interesting idea that Mercury might have all of these volatile chemicals beneath its surface. And the reporting on this paper has been fairly interesting to say the least. This is all geological stuff. We haven't talked about any possible organic molecules, but if you go to the New York Times, you'll find this heading. Life on planet Mercury. It's not completely nuts. Well, what does that mean? They evidently saw the press release to the paper that we just talked about. And in the press release, it's mentioned that these volatile chemicals are important for life on Earth, and they do some talking about perhaps uh, there could be more habitable pockets of mercury. So this is where this headline comes from. When you're talking about press releases, you always need to be careful about the scope of what you're talking about. In this case, it seems like the very interesting geology might have gotten lost in this side story of life on Mercury. So if you see headlines like this, um, I guess just disregard them. They're not true to the science. And the science is very interesting because Mercury is a very interesting place, as it turns out. And thanks to Alexis Rodriguez, we have a better insight as to how these chaotic areas of Mercury actually formed.